So Apple recently dropped Final Cut Pro 11 with the new transcribe to captions feature, and to be honest, it's a little disappointing. Fortunately, I found a solution. Let me explain. So if I select the clips in the timeline, I've already cut these out. You want to right click on your clip and go to transcribe to captions. And when you click transcribe to captions, it's going to use AI and automatically add the captions to your video. If I go back and I push play, this is what it looks like with Final Cut Pro. You know, if you look at an interview from me from 10 years ago, everybody says, I love that interview. So it's not bad per se, but it's really boring and very basic in my opinion. The only thing you can change in Final Cut Pro is maybe if you double click, you can change the text. So you can do like, you know, you can erase some text. You can add your own. You can change the language depending on what language is being spoken. You can change the duration of the caption. So if you select the caption and you go over to the inspector window, you do have some options like you can make it a little bit bold if you want. You can italicize it. The position, you can only move it up or down. So you can move it down or up so you can create short form clips significantly faster than Final Cut Pro 11. So what you want to do first is go to create free video now. And once you are logged in, this is what the page is going to look like. So I'm going to go to where it says generate captions and you're going to drop your clip in here. So you could also go to long to clips. So you can actually uh, generate viral clips from long videos. So if you have a YouTube video, you can go ahead and paste it in here and it will trim it to shorter clips, saving you a lot of time than, you know, doing it manually. So here's the clip that I want to use. You want to give this a title. I'm just going to name this Kanye West for the sake of the tutorial. And then for the language, you want to select English or whatever language they are speaking. So I'm going to do English and I'm going to click on upload. So this is going to upload to Submagic using AI to add the captions automatically to your videos. All right. So it just finished adding the captions and it's going to take you to this page where you can change the style and select a theme. So if I click on the yellow one, it's going to look like this and you can preview it in this window. If you go over here, you can actually enable the safe zone so you can actually know where the text is going to lay when you upload this. So you don't mess up and have to go back and just waste even more time. I love that they added this safe zone feature. You also have the option of replacing your video right here and you can also change the aspect ratio so if you have a 9 by 16 which is a regular vertical video you can do that one or a tall version for instagram and a one by one which is a square video and you also have a 16 by 9 which is a widescreen version of the vertical version so i'm going to show you what this looks like you know if you look at an interview from me from 10 years ago everybody says i love that interview people didn't love it back then though because i was speaking to the future so you can see we got to fix a little bit of the text let me just show you what they look like really quick so i'm going to go back to the beginning you know if you look at an interview from me from 10 years ago everybody says i love that so i guess i'm gonna have to go back and make this smaller people didn't love it back then though because i was so that was a little bit too a little bit too much for this video so we want to use a little bit more uh cinematic a little bit more inspiring so maybe tracy will look pretty good so I'm going to just push play. I'm 10 years ahead mentally and I'm trapped. And if you go down, you can change the color. So right now it's on white, but you can do like yellow if you want. And then again, the size, you can make this bigger or smaller. And then the position, which is something you can't change in Final Cut Pro 11, is the up and down position, which really sucks. I think that's a big letdown in the Final Cut Pro 11 update. So now we're going to go over to the captions. And if we go back to the beginning of our clip, you know, if you look at an interview from me from 10 years ago, everybody says, I love that interview. People didn't love it back then, though, because I was. So you can see it, it kind of goes down the list of all the words that it pretty much transcribed to. So when it's in orange, it means the word might be incorrect. So it'll tell you right here, low confidence word mark as corrected if it's correct. So right now it's not correct. He actually says, though. So we're going to type in, though, and we're going to click on mark as corrected. And now you can know that it's the right word. Also, you have a bunch of other options here. You could add a line break. You can move to the previous line. You can move it to the next line. So you can move this one here. And you also have this brush tool. It pretty much emphasizes the caption. So if I go back a little bit and I push play. People didn't love it back then, though, because I was. It makes the though like bigger. You also have the option of adding a sound to this. If you click on add sound, it will add a sound effect to the word. In this case, though is not really important from what he's saying. So it wouldn't make sense to add a sound effect to this, but you can add them if you want. You could change the fade compared to the rest of the audio. You could also remove the audio too. And you can change the timing of all of the text here by clicking on the little blue button. And if you change the slider, you can adjust it how you wish. So right here, you can actually hide the line. So it'll skip that word. So if I push play and I turn this off, let me show you what happens. So if you look at an interview from it just skips that word. So 
maybe they swear or something and you don't want to have that shown, you can turn that off or you can just remove it entirely. That's a cool thing. And right here, you see the AI captions accuracy is 100%. The B-rolls is really cool because you can actually add B-roll to your clip. So like, let's say they're speaking about something like if I go down, he actually speaks about the future right here. So if I click on this and I click this little plus button, you can then add a B-roll clip to this. So you can either add a B-roll for the type, a transition or an image. So if I go to B-roll, I can select my own if I click on this. So you can first find premium videos through Storyblocks with the subscription. You can also find free videos here as well, which is kind of nice that they actually add that. And if I go right now, it says speaking future. I just want to type in future for what he's saying as a B-roll clip. I'm gonna click on load more and you can go and scroll and quickly find a clip that matches the aesthetic of your clip. I like this one. I'm gonna click apply. And that's all you have to do. The only thing you need to do is maybe adjust the position if you want. Right now it's 50%, I think that's fine. This pretty much just makes it kind of like this if you want. You could start it from a different area in your clip if you want. The layout is cover because it covers the entire clip or you can do contain. And then for transition animation, you can do film burn. This adds a film burn transition like this. Interview. People didn't love it back then though because I was speaking to the future. I think that looks really good, but I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna turn off the animation for this example. But another thing you can do is use the transition. You can just use it a normal transition without any b-roll or you can use an image and then right here is the shortcut to add a gif or an image so if i go here and i click this you could add a gif powered by giphy so it gives you the settings for this as well you could also click on magic b-rolls if you click magic b-rolls it will automatically add b-roll to the clips that it thinks from what he's saying to add a b-roll of the clip which is kind of nice if you just want something really quick so if you click on boost this allows you to create a hook title so if i enable this this will generate a title to your clip before they even click it on tiktok or youtube shorts and it shows them a preview of it so if, like if i just push play you know if you look at an interview from me from 10 years ago and it generates generates the text for you so you don't have to think about it so you can change the text here so like let's say you want to change this to something else like kanye for example you can do that or you can you know remove emojis if you don't like it you could also regenerate the text based on what he's saying and talking about it's adding this title called this one mistake could cost you 100k you can change the size of this and you can change the style of the text so i like this one i'm gonna make this smaller and you can do something like this and you can also change the font to a different one like pop-ins or something Thing. And then we also have the AI clean audio. By the way, these are part of the growth and business plans. So just keep that in mind. But if I turn this on, it's going to take away any of the background noise. So it does have music in the back. So I'm not going to enable this. And you also have the AI description and hashtags. If I click this, it's going to generate a description based off of what he's talking about. And you could also make this a shorter version or a longer version. So I'm going to do short version. And you can see time travel and interviews, watch and relate. You also have the option of adding a cover image to this right here. You also have logo and branding. So you could add your logo to this, which is kind of nice. Or text. So if I do text and I do King Tuts Pro, it'll add the branding to your clip so no one steals it. And then you can change the size, the position, the Y position. So I think something like that. You could also bring down the opacity. So I'm going to turn this off. And of course, you have music. So you could add your own music. And once you're ready, you can go ahead and click the export button. When you click export, you can choose the quality. So you can do standard 1080p. You can do a 2K or 4K clip and you can change the frame rate here. I just keep it to original and click export. All right, just finished exporting and now I have the option of playing back our clip. So if I push play. You know, if you look at an interview from me from 10 years ago, everybody says, I love that interview. People didn't love it back then though, because I was speaking to the future. I'm 10 years ahead mentally and I'm trapped in today's time. And every now and then I crack you a smile for 2013, but I'm cracking you a frown for 2023. And then once you're happy with your clip, you're going to go ahead and click on the download video. So if you guys visit the link in the description, you will be able to sign up using my my affiliate link in the description. If you guys use my coupon code KING30, you will be able to save any plan that you select and you guys can select any of these options that you guys think fits your type of projects. And if you guys found this video helpful, I will catch you guys on my next video.